hello guys what's up welcome to my youtube channel guys and this tutorial we are going to uh, discuss how to copy any model whether it is in group or component along any curve path okay so here we have created three kind of uh, curve line guys and here we are gonna use jhs power bar tool and this is a, a you know comprises lots of you know plugins but here we will use this and this one uh, copy along path tool okay so in the next tutorial we will discuss about in detail how to use js power bar in a detail okay we will discuss all components all toolbar that is given here and how to use it okay so if you are new on my channel please subscribe and hit a like button hit a bell icon button for a get regular sketch up code content okay so let's start So guys here you can see that we have drawn a three different kind of uh, curve line guys so how to uh, use this plugin first one is copy along path and second one is copy component path okay so first you will have to select your line guys okay and after selecting this curve line guys you will have to click over here copy along path okay then you have to select your model this model now, now I am going to click over okay so just click over the model to place copy along path okay so after placing here you can see that uh, here selling you can type your distance between the model okay suppose if you are tying five feet then it will place every model at the distance of five feet if you type six feet it will place at the distance of five feet between the model okay so you can type um, distance after placing your model just like that first select your mod, uh, curve line then click here then this time you can also type the length uh, distance between item I am typing 5 feet okay then selecting this model just like that or after this you can also uh, change the distance between um, object suppose I am going to type it 12 feet between uh, this trace object okay or I am going to type a 5 feet so you can see that you can also change after uh, apply copy along path okay or you can apply between uh, at the mid of the application of uh, along path okay so select your line click here set a distance okay and click over the model or after applying you can also change the distance between model just like that i am typing one feet or five feet or eight feet or 0.1 feet so that's it guys uh, this is the method to use this plugin okay so guys now another uh, second copy along path plugin that will only copy component okay so first you'll have to select your curve line then you will have to click over here select your component which is visible on your uh, screen okay so every object that you have copied or placed on your uh, sketchup screen will be shown here on a component okay so i'm going to select this pine tree from here and type a spacing between the model typing the 8 feet okay and then uh, select center yes or no if you select no it will be something like that and if you will select yes suppose I'm going to select copy table from here and select this new line guys and click here selecting copy table distance between uh, model is 5 feet okay and uh, selecting center okay yes or then then click OK. Okay, so it will be something like that. The model will be placed. The reference point will be center of this model. Okay, so now suppose you have a this line. Okay, this curve line. Select this line. So remember, your line curve line must be in a single line. Okay, not broken. If you uh, if your line will be broken in a different segment, then it will only select one segment at once okay so this line you can set by, by, uh, when i select this you can see all line showing in a single segment okay so just select this line click here select your component 
type the distance and select no center if you are using any kind of furniture and select no center or center okay then click okay then it will uh, copy something like that okay guys so this is the method to use this both kind of uh, uh, tools okay and next tutorial we will talk about how to use jhs power bar tool uh, power bar tool uh, in a detail okay so thanks for watching have fun and see you in the next tutorial thank you for watching